and it will be given by Pushpendu Pradhan from Nicer Bhuneshwar and he will talk about minimum size blocking sets of certain line sets with respect to an elliptic quadric in PG3 cube, finite projective space of dimension 3 over the field with theory. Pushpendu, please. Firstly, I would like to thank you, the organizers, for, for giving me an opportunity in this talk to, to present my work. So, this talk is based on my paper jointly with Vardy uh, Bloom and Vinod Kumar Sahu. So, the title of my talk is Minimum Size Blocking Sets of Certain Line Sets with Respect to an Elliptic Quadric in PG3. So, as the title suggested, so in this talk, we will try to find the minimum cardinality of a blocking sets and try to characterize them geometrically in PG3. So the outlines of my talks are, uh, the first section is about preliminaries. In this section, we will see some definitions and some motivational parts. And nextly, we move to the second section, that is elliptic quadric. Uh, in this section, we will see some point line plane properties of elliptic quadric. Then we move to the third section, that is blocking sets in PG3. So in this section, we will see some earlier results uh, of blocking set with respect to a certain line set um, of elliptic quadric. Then uh, our results, uh, our contribution in this direction. So, PDQ. So, first consider let V be a d plus 1 dimensional vector space over the finite field FQ, where Q is a prime power, and PGDQ be the corresponding d dimensional projective space. So, the points of PGDQ are one dimensional surfaces of V. The lines of PGDQ are two dimensional surfaces of V, and so on. Hyperplanes of PGDQ are the d dimensional projective space of V. So, let us denote script V as the set of all points of PGDQ and script L as the set of all lines of PGDQ. So, next, what is the blocking set? The definition of blocking set. So, for a given non empty subset L of script L, a point set B subset of script V is called a blocking set with respect to L or an L blocking set if every line of L contains at least one point of B. So, there is an example. So, the some trivial example is that if you take L as a set of all line set and B is the set of all points of uh, PGDQ, then it is trivial that uh, B blocks every line. That is, every line meets B. So, the next example uh, in PGDQ, projective plane over for a Q, uh, if you take L as the set of all lines uh, of PGTQ, then B uh, takes uh, the points of a line is an L blocking set as any of two lines uh, of PGTQ must meet at a point. That is the from the definition of projective plane. So next, given the definition of blocking set, some question arises in our mind. The first question is, for a given line set L, uh, find the minimum size of an L blocking set. So once we get a minimum size of, of an L blocking set, Next question arrive that give geometric description of all such L blocking sets of minimal cardinality. So in this regard, the first step was taken by Bose and Barton, and they take L as a set of all lines of PGDQ and prove the following fundamental result. Uh, they gave the result in 1966. The result is if script L is a set of all lines of PGDQ and X is an L blocking set in PGDQ, then mod of x greater or equal to q to the d minus 1 by q minus 1 and equality holds if and only if x is a hyperplane of pgdq so next uh, before moving to the next section of the quadratic there is some definition definition of quadratic form so a quadratic form is a function f from g to fq if it satisfies the following conditions the first condition is f of c u equal to c square fu for all u belongs to v and c belongs to a and the second condition for u v belongs to g, v of u v equal to f of u plus v minus f of u minus f of v is a symmetric bilinear form. Uh, for each subspace u of v, we define u power patch uh, v of v belongs to v such that v of u v equal to 0 for all u belongs to u. We say that v is non degenerate if v power equal to 0 for a point. U of PGDQ, which called singular, if f of u equal to zero, 
or non singular if f of u not equal to 0 we say that f is degenerate if g part contains a singular point otherwise f is non degenerate the said q uh, consisting of all singular points uh, of the quadratic form is called quadric in pgdq a quadric is non degenerate if the corresponding quadratic form is non degenerate so from now on we assume that v is a four dimensional vector space over q so the corresponding quadratic space will be pg3q so in v there are two types of non degenerate quadratic forms the first one is x0 x1 plus x2 x3 and the corresponding quadratic to this quadratic form is called hyperbolic quadratic and the second one is x0 x1 plus x2 square plus b x2 x3 plus c x3 square where the quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c is an irreducible polynomial over f q of f q x and the corresponding quadratic to this elliptic to this quadratic form is called elliptic quadratic so Oh, so in this slide, we see that some point and properties of elliptic quadric. Let q minus three q be an elliptic quadric in PG three. So then q minus three q consists of q square plus one points, but no lines. So thus, for a line A of PG three q, we have the three possibilities for the cardinality of the intersection L with q minus three q. That is zero, one, or two. So we say that L is external line if it meets q minus three q at zero points. The tangent line if it meets at one points, and the second line if it meets at two points. Let us denote the set of all external lines by E, tangent lines by T, and second lines by S respectively. So the cardinality of this set T is uh, q plus one into q square plus one. And the cardinality of this set S and E are same. Uh, this this is q square into q square plus one by two. Uh, the point line incident properties of q minus three q is this: that through a point x of q minus three q, there are q square second lines and q plus one tangent lines. Uh, through a point y of q minus three q, means outside q minus three q, there are q plus one tangent lines, q into q minus one by two second lines, and q into q plus one by two external lines. For q, then all the q plus one tangent lines through y outside q minus three q. Are on a plane for which y is the nucleus. And for q odd, no three tangent lines through y outside q minus three q are coplanar. So, but in any case, the q plus one points of q minus three q on tangent lines through y outside q minus three q are not conic. So, by a conic, we mean that that set of all points uh, which satisfy a non-irreducible homogeneous quadratic polynomial conditions of three variables. So for a for a plane pi of pg three q, the intersection pi intersection q minus three q is one of the following two possibilities. The first possibility is is a point say x. In this case, pi is called a tangent plane with tangency point x, and pi is the union of the q plus one tangent lines through x. And the second possibility of the intersection is a irreducible conic in pi. In this case, pi is called a second plane, and we denote by c pi the conic. Pi intersection q minus three q in pi. So here is a small note that if pi is a plane and b is a L blocking set, then pi intersection b is a blocking set in pi with respect to the lines of A, which are contained in pi. So with q minus three q given, there is a polarity naturally associated with it. So what is the polarity? The polarity is an inclusion reversing bijection of order two on the set of all subspaces of P three q. Inclusion reversing in the sense if x1 is a subspace of x2, then x2 tau is a subspace of x1 tau. So tau fixes the line sets of PG3Q and it interchanges the point set and the set of all planes of PG3. If x belongs to Q minus 3Q, then the plane x tau is a tangent plane with tangency point x. And if x belongs to PG3Q slash Q minus 3Q, then the plane x tau. The second plane with C X tau and irreducible conic for Q or X does not belong to X tau, uh, but for Q even X belongs to X tau and X is the nucleus of the irreducible conic C X tau. That means through X all the tangent line lines passes. So blocking sets in PG three Q. So in two thousand seven, P. Bayandi and Lorestorm take L to be the set of all external lines to the elliptic quadric 
and assume that q greater or equal to 9 then they give the result let q minus 3q be an elliptic coordinate in period 3q where q greater or equal to 9 if b is a minimum size blocking set with respect to the set of all external lines to q minus 3q then mod b equal to q square and b equal to pi plus q minus 3q for some second plane pi to q minus 3q so however we give an alternative proof of the equality case in the above theorem so actually which works for all q and we state that let b be an epsilon e blocking set in p3q then mod b greater or equal to q square and equality holds if and only if b equal to pi slash q minus 3q for some second plane pi of p3q so the next results is about sec s blocking set that is set of all second lines for q what let b be an s blocking set in p3q then mod b greater or equal to q square if q is odd then mod b equal to q square if and only if one of the following three cases occurs the first case b equal to q minus 3q plus x for some point x of q minus 3q the second case b equal to q minus 3q plus xy union z where xy are two distinct points of q minus 3q and z is a point of pg 3q plus q minus 3q which is content in the line through x and y and the third case which may occur b equal to q minus 3q slash the four point wx y comma z union abc where wx comma w comma x comma y comma z are four points of q minus 3q uh, content in a second plane pi and abc belongs to pi slash c pi are the three diagonal points of the quadrangle w comma x comma y comma z where the quadrangle means uh, the set of four points none of three are collinear the next result about ac union t blocking set and let b be an ac union t blocking set in pg 3q then mod b greater or equal to q square plus 1 and the equality force if and only b is q minus 3q so that is for an s union t blocking set the minimum size blocking set is q minus 3q itself the next result about t union e blocking set let b be an q union blocking set in pg 3q then mod b greater or equal to q square plus q and the equality holds if and only b equal to x tau plus x for some x belongs to q minus 3q so x is a point of q minus 3q so x tau is a tangent plane so for a t union e blocking set the minimum size blocking set is a tangency plane, tangent plane minus a tangency point the next result about e union s blocking set let b be an e union s blocking set in pg 3q then the following hold if q equal to 2 then mod b greater or equal to 6 and the equality occurs if and only if b equal to l union l tau where l is the second line and l tau is the polar of l with respect to polarity tau of pg 3q so since l is a second line the polarity of l that is l tau is an external line so b is the union of a external line and a second line and if q greater or equal to 3 then mod b greater or equal to q square plus q plus 1 and equality holds if and only if B is a plane of pg 3q. So now we see that the results for the blocking set of elliptic coordinate can be extends extended to overs of pg 3q with a set of q square plus one point such that no three of them are collinear. So each plane of pg 3q intersect an over either in a single term or an oval of that plane. So that need not to be a discrete point. But for elliptic quadric, the intersection with each plane is either a single term or an irreducible point. So there is a small difference between them. So, and each line of PG3Q intersect and overlap in zero, one, or two points. We say a line is external, tangent, or secant according as it meets over at zero, one, or two points respectively. So, given the definition of external, tangent, and secant lines, one can ask. Whether given the results of elliptic coordinates, one can extend to that to the ovoid. So there is a theorem uh, that for Q what every ovoid of PG three Q is also an elliptic coordinate. But for Q even other examples are there. That is the Suzuki Tits ovoids. So for Q what the results for elliptic coordinates can be generalized easily. But uh, for Q even the way we have constructed the proof for the above results for elliptic coordinates. These are also true for ovoids, but uh, that is we have to 
uh, deal with the arguments that is in this case because here is the only difference here the point land properties so the way you have constructed the proof the argument also true for overheads also so so the so for q odd and q even we can extend the results for overheads too so my talk is based on these two papers the results are from these two results Okay. Very good. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pushpendu. Thank you, Are there any questions or comments? Anybody in the audience? So, I, I have just, uh, just some general question, if I may ask. So, usually, you know, this uh, Galois geometry results have. Uh, uh, hello. Yes, sir. The coding theory and so on. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes. So, do, do you, I mean, these results, do they find some nice applications to coding theory, etc.? Uh, no, no, I don't know, sir, because I don't actually, I not studied coding theory. So, I cannot say much about that. So, okay. if I will to study that, then I. Closely I, related to the subject, actually. Uh, uh, anyway. Another query I had, you had in one of the theorems you mentioned, it was due to one low raise Storme. Yes. So I, so I know a finite geometer called Leo Storme. So is, is there some relation with who is this? Yes, yes, yes. That Ghent University. Professor. Yeah, Ghent University in Belgium. Yeah. This is not the same person. The, if I remember correctly, the one I know, his name is Leo Storme. Leo Storme. But Lore is somebody different, is it? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, anyway, I mean, you're not possibly okay to that. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Uh, so, let us uh, clap uh, virtually at least for uh, Pushpendu. <laughs>